The quick access toolbar that runs across the top of your Google Sheets has a lot of buttons that we'll go more in depth with in videos later on. For right now, I want to go over just a few things within this list. First, if you ever don't see your file, edit, view, insert, etc. menus, you probably need to click the hide the menus button. So if it looks like this and you need those options, click the arrow that's in the upper right corner. If you ever don't see all of the icons on your quick access toolbar, that may be because you don't have enough space on your window for all of them to show up. If that's the case, your toolbar will end in three horizontal dots, the more button, and if I click that, I'll see any of the hidden tools on the toolbar. Let's look at a few of these. Your toolbar is broken down into some different sections. The first one has undo, redo, print, and format painter. I notice that a lot of people don't know what the format painter does. If I click on any cell, I can click the format painter and then click on another cell and it'll automatically take the format of the cell that I just copied. So for example, this cell right here has a background that is green and the text is white. If I copy this with the format painter and then click on a cell, it now assumes that same formatting. I can also click that cell, click the format painter, and select a range of cells and it'll change the format for all of those cells. The next section is our zoom. We can easily zoom in and out of our spreadsheet by using the zoom option on the quick access toolbar. Next to that we have formatting tools, currency, percent, the amount of decimal places that are showing, and then more number formats. We then have our fonts and know that you can click on more fonts at any time and you can add in additional fonts. There are tons built in here that you can choose to add to your list. You can narrow it by the scripts, the font, the popularity, whatever you would like to look at and easily add those. So if I want to use or I want shadows in the light to be in my list, I simply click it and when I press OK, any that I've selected will now show up in my list of fonts and they will stay there until I decide to remove them. Next to that you have your font size, then bold, italicized, strike through, and text color. Notice with the text color you can use a custom color if you would like and if you choose custom you have the full wheel to choose from and you can also type in a hex number if you have a specific color you're trying to match. After that you have your fill color which will fill the background of a cell. You have your borders and within your borders know that you can change the line type or thickness and you can change the color. So if I want a thick pink border on this cell I choose the line type, I choose the color, and then I choose what type of border I would like. So I just made a thick pink border around that cell. Next to that is merge cells. This is grayed out because I haven't selected cells that I could merge together. If I highlight a row of cells, now I can click on merge cells. If I click the drop down arrow next to it, I have different options. I can merge horizontally, vertically if I had some vertical cells selected, or I can choose just to merge all. If I ever want to unmerge cells, I simply click that again and choose unmerge. Next to that is our horizontal alignment, and then our vertical alignment. Then we have our text wrapping within our cell. So if you would like cell data to carry over to the next line, you can choose the text wrapping. Next is the direction of your text. So if you would like your text, perhaps the day of the week you would like to have vertical, you could do that. 
Next to that you have insert link. If you would like to insert a link in a cell, simply click insert link, paste what you would like, and type the text. You also have the option to link to a range of cells within your spreadsheet or to a different sheet in the spreadsheet. This one only has one sheet tab. Next to that we have our comments option where we can add comments to cells or a range of cells. We have access to quickly insert a chart. We can turn on filters and we'll look at that a little bit more later. And we can also access our functions quickly and easily. Again, we'll take a look at these a little bit later.